I have survived both physical and metaphysical abuse, and I still feel trapped. I suppose working with the Ascended Masters would be the best way to heal, but even though I can feel how much they have helped me and they have already given to me, I still feel unworthy of their help, and I am left questioning the continued traumatization by just existing in a world of trauma. Do you have any advice? Well, there's twofold there to that question. I think that the answer that I'm hearing right now to share with our community is that there's no getting out of the human journey. And your human journey at this time is it's it's on a war-torn planet that you know is deeply controlled by oppressors we can't even see. And it's, you know, why I've channeled so many curriculums for the Sophia Code Mystery School, which we're now calling the Sophia Code Ascension Academy, because it's only through the embodiment of your higher self, through the perspective of your divinity, that you can make any sense of why you would choose to come into such a traumatized world. It's only through the perspective of your invincible divinity that you would ever choose to incarnate into a world that is rife with this much evil. And it's when you see how powerful the light of your soul is that you realize your higher self chose this mission before you ever came here because it believed, your higher self believes in you and your capacity to not only recover, but make a difference in this world. And when you start to explore that model of reality, that higher self perspective of how powerful you are, then it starts to make sense how your trauma recovery could possibly impact the recovery of so many other souls. And when we commit to our own recovery, at first there is so much shame that not only did you have to survive what you survived, but now you have to roll up your sleeves and somehow try to recover any semblance of a self-esteem from the shame and the extraordinary wounding of what you experienced. And when you roll up the sleeves, your sleeves to actually recover the one within you that survived step by step, moment by moment, you actually start generating self-love. And you might even have to practice saying, I love you thousands of times to yourself, and it might not feel like you mean it at all. But I genuinely offer you this homework to practice saying, I love you at least 20 times a day to yourself until you start to actually feel the one within you who survived all of that believing you because they don't believe you yet. But when you feel the one within you that survived, receive the love that you are offering them. It is from this place that you will start to feel the glimmer of worthiness from within of just how worthy you are of all of heaven and earth supporting your recovery. Every ascended master of the Sophia Dragon Tribe, every angelic order loves you. But you are on a journey of believing that for yourself. To be even more precise, you are on the journey of loving the one within you that survived and may believe that they don't deserve anything based on how they were treated. And I think that's one of the most fascinating parts of being a survivor and going on this recovery journey. It's like, it's so unfair what happened. And then it just, it's seemingly so unfair that we actually have to figure out how to parent ourselves into our recovery because no one else can do that for us. We can receive plenty of help. We can work with lots of different resources, but, ult resources, but ultimately it comes down to, am I going to love myself? Am I going to become the mother and father to myself that this person within me desperately needs, this child within me, this, this teenager within me, this young adult within me? Yeah. 
is hemorrhaging from that tra traumatic event or that those traumatic years of your life. It, it does take fire. It does take willingness. It does take commitment, especially on the days where, where you are like, I am too tired to love myself. I'd prefer someone else to do it for me. It doesn't work like that. You actually get have to show up to loving yourself. And the magic of that is that one day you wake up and, and you are looking into the mirror and meeting a very different version of yourself. You're meeting the master within you that knew you could love yourself into a genuine recovery. Again, what the spiritual support group is offering is a safe place to be witnessed, to feel your feelings, um, to experience the solidarity of support that is here for you from our community and the Ascended Masters, and to reflect upon the universal experience of being a survivor, which is extremely spiritually healing in and of itself to know that you are not alone.